Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Boot Shopping here at Ultra Football. I'm Costa and I'm joined today by Melbourne City Captain Emma Checker. Emma, welcome to Ultra Football. Thanks for having me, guys. We're going to go heading store and have a look at the brand new New Balance Tequila Boots. Let's go. Emma, welcome to Ultra Football. Is it your first time here? Have you been here before? I've been fortunate enough to be here a few times now. Awesome, perfect. Uh, what, what does a store like this, do you think, do, I guess, for football here in the country? Oh, I think it's it's a part of the process we're on in growing the game. It's a very special store, and I think to have a football-specific store like this and in a place like Melbourne only helps to grow the game even further. Definitely. Awesome. Now, we mentioned before you're captain of Melbourne City, but I want to touch on earlier. You made your debut for Adelaide United at 15 years old at a young age. How does that feel? Yeah, I mean, it's it's crazy when you think back. You kind of you almost forget how young you are in a situation like that, and it's. I think it was so overwhelming at the time that you don't actually fully appreciate or process the magnitude of it. Um, I think it's only now that I'm able to reflect and understand how, how big and special it was. And what sort of, and now you moved from Adelaide, you had a bit of a time of victory, went back to Adelaide, now you're at City. After travelling around to a couple of these clubs, now what can City sort of compare to these other clubs and how does it feel now being at City and obviously you're with your leadership role there too, how do you look at, I guess, the start to right now and how does that make you feel? Oh, I mean, a lot has changed in the yeah. league and I mean, it would, be, it would be unfair for me to compare City now to Adelaide when I was 15 because obviously the game has grown so much and I think you know, the reality is if it weren't for Adelaide at that point in my career, I wouldn't have been given the opportunity so young. Yeah. So it's, I will forever be grateful for Adelaide for giving me that chance and giving me a go. And yeah. it's, you know, it was my home club, so it was a really special period of my career. But now where I am with City, it's, you know, it's the place I want to be. Um, and it's helped me become the player I have in the last four years. So it's challenged me as a leader and challenged me as a player and obviously our standards are driven by the city group exactly. so it's a big expectation to live up to but it's that's why I want to play. Definitely. What was that like moving I guess at a young age and then you know you're leaving your home your hometown like you said what was that whole feeling like was it difficult was you know, was it an easy transition was it something that you could look to rely on maybe as well that helped that transition happen? It was yeah, it was a big transition I was still in year 12 at the time um, and yeah, obviously moving into states so far from family, your friends and obviously your comfort zone. So it, it definitely challenged me and there's a lot of learning that you have to do pretty quickly to adjust to being away from home like that. And I think that, you know, I made a lot of mistakes along the way in trying to find my feet within that move. But I'm, I'm so glad that I did do it and I had, I had good support around me within that. Um, but yeah, the, there's, the reality is it was also really challenging yeah. because as a... 17 year old, you know, losing your family support network and what feels comfortable is, is really hard. Definitely. Uh, now, you had a little bit of a brief stint going overseas, which unfortunately got shut uh, because of injury. What sort of was that whole experience like? And I guess the injury process is we've had people on the show in the past and, you know, they've done their ACLs and they've mentioned that you often have so much support when you're in the system and when you're playing, but then no one really sees what it's like, I guess, behind the scenes. How about, you know, you've made that move to Europe, which I guess is. Ultimately, every kid's dream here in Australia, we feel so far away at times, but you made that goal and you made that, that journey. How did that feel and what was it like, sort of, I guess, cutting short and that process of rehab as well? Yeah, it was hard. I mean, I've, I've ended up with pretty big injury stints in a couple of my, you know, opportunities overseas, but obviously the biggest one being France. And it, I think at the time it felt for me like it was, you know, it was like the biggest move of my life. And it was, you know, it was to a big league and, it felt like one of those goals that as a kid that you dream of having and it felt like it was about to become my reality and unfortunately it wasn't um, for obviously injury reasons and I had a, a really difficult time at the club I was with and adjusting to being over there so it's you know but at the same time I think now I look at it and it was the biggest stages of growth in my life have been when I have been injured or when I have been overseas so I think yes, in a perfect world, you know, you don't go through those setbacks, but yeah. I think I am now in a position where I'm old enough and experienced enough to appreciate them for what they were and feel like if it weren't for those times, I wouldn't have become this person now. Definitely. And we mentioned about how much the women's game has changed and how much it has developed. We have obviously have the Women's World Cup here in Australia and New Zealand, which I'm looking forward to and I'm sure all the girls and the girls that we've had on the show as well, everyone's just itching for it to start. 
How important do you think having a major tournament like that is for here? And do you think there's more that I guess we could do and just everyone could do to help the game grow? Oh, it's it's huge. There's it's it's hard to even put into words. I think just how how big it really is. And yeah. when you think about the World Cup and you picture some of the host nations, countries, and how big these tournaments have been in the past, the fact that we're going to have it on home turf is it's overwhelming. So I think. It's a massive opportunity though for football here and not just women's football, football generally. And we have to tap into it and use it because this is a chance for us as a country to really increase, you know, not just participation numbers, but the, the view of football in a country like ours. And so I really do hope that we grab onto the opportunity and make the most of it. Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, one final thing before we do head into the brew room, we get to try on the New Balance boots and then we also go onto the pitch, which is maybe my favourite part, but <laughs> you have previously filmed something for Ultra Football, the Ultra Essentials. You brought in a photo of your brother and your dad. What influence and how much have they played in your career, I guess, on and off the pitch? Oh, yeah, I mean, look, family is just such an important part of everyone's life. And I think for me, obviously, moving away from home young, we, we had our challenges and like every family does. But for me, my parents and my brother have been a massive part of this journey. And when you're a kid, your parents are the ones that give you the opportunity. You know, without them, you don't get driven an hour to training every night or given the opportunity to, to even play. So when I think back and compare to where I am now, it's, it's because of the support that they both gave me. And both my mum and dad were the ones trekking me around. And I remember it, it was an hour drive every night. So yeah. they, they started this and my brother was a big part of that as well. He's, he's four years younger than me, but he's supported me throughout all of this. And to this day, they still support me in the same way. So yeah, that's, that's, I think it's something that everyone can relate to as well, which, which is a really cool thing. Now, Emma, we've, we've gone through the questions. We've walked through the store. Let's go into the brew room. It's my favorite good. part. We're gonna try on the new New Balance Tequila boots, the pearly white shoes. Let's go, follow me, let's, let's go. Let's do it. Emma, we're in the brew room and in my hands I've got the brand new New Balance Tequila boots. Unbelievable colorway as well. The sock on them too makes a nice and grippy around your ankles. I want to pass these to you. I want you to let me know what your thoughts are. Do you like the colorway? Do you like the pattern on them? And how do you think they're going to feel? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not normally a white boot person, but when these ones came out, it's hard not to be. Um, and I, yeah, I'm really enjoying the new style. For me, I've found the extra studs on the outside of the upper has been really helpful. Um, I personally, you know, try to avoid wearing medals as much as possible, um, but these just give you that little bit more without having to go as far as wearing medals. So, yeah, as a defender, I've found it great because I feel, I feel like I'm slipping less and I've got obviously a little bit more grip. Um, and I've transitioned from the Furong to the Tequila recently, so adjusting to the elastic initially was a little bit different, but yeah, they fit snug and it's, it is honestly like wearing a sock and stuff. Yeah. What, what's some features that have you looked for in boots maybe in the past and to now? And has anything like that sort of adjusted as your career's gone up? Yeah, for me, I've got really narrow feet. So I think the hardest thing has been finding a boot that actually feels like it, it hugs the, the, yeah, the front end of my feet. There's nothing worse than when you're running around feeling like you're slipping around on the inside. And I think the, yeah, the New Balance boots have come a really long way and I now feel like I've finally got a boot that does fit me in that way. Perfect. Now, if we ever release a New Balance window that made boots with Sterling, the likes of Saka, and I know there's many more to come, if New Balance ever were to approach in the checker to make the checker <laughs> Boot. Yeah, we've got to go for the checker stripes. I know what are we going to do? What would you have for your own custom boot? Oh, that's a that's a really hard question. <laughs> um, there's part of me that wants to say they'd have to be really out there and bright, yeah. but then I think after seeing this, I think I'd have a, a white base and I'd go white and black, a classic nice. kind of look. Um, with a classic a, clean boot. Yeah, but not not too much black. That's the only yeah, thing. I don't perfect. like a solid black boot. Are and then maybe a, are you going for these new? No, that would need a pop of colour. Yeah. yeah, a white and black upper with a pop of colour on the bottom. Awesome, perfect. Well, the boots look great in hand, but I want to see what they're like on feet. So Emma, try the boots on. Go test the touch on the pitch, and then we'll also challenge you to a nice little top bins challenge too, which I know myself. I've been, I've been doing it right yeah, recently, yeah, I'm not going to put the see, pressure on see. you. <laughs> but try the boots on and we'll see you on the pitch. Done. Let's go.
And when you've got the boots on, they look nice, but how do they feel? Yeah, they feel great. I'm ready to hit one top pin. Awesome. Well, we're going we're <laughs> to do a challenge. We're going to go again. That left one, Okay. it's Costa's Corner. I've, I've branded it myself. So what's the right one, Emma's Corner? The right, oh, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a challenge. That's a challenge. Now to start and see who goes first. Paper, scissors, rock. I'm going to okay. go paper. Paper, scissors, rock. Oh, I thought you got rattled a little bit. Paper, scissors, rock. See you later. That's twice now I've lost. <laughs> I, I feel like I did rattle you a little bit to start with my paper. Well, it was just a weird start. I saw, the, confu yeah, I saw okay. the confusion. I came, I came back together. Emma, if you're as good as what people say you are, you'd hit it first time, no pressure. Okay. <laughs> no pressure. Please don't hit it first time. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, you're, you're confident, you're not even wearing boots. No, pff, I, don't, I don't get the fancy <laughs> stuff here, Emma. <laughs> here we go. So just, so we make, just so we make it straight. Practice game last night. First first 90 minutes in a long time. Hamstring's a little bit oh, sore. Oh, here we go. Ankle, you know, hip surgery a couple of years ago. Like, just remember Do that. Do you want me to I... list off my surgeries and we'll see <laughs> no, who wins? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> first time, Costa's corner. Oh. It's a boomerang. My own kick, it's a boomerang. Comes straight back to you. No pressure. No pressure. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no. Wait, what was that corner called? <laughs> no. Oh, that's right. I'll just <laughs> rename it to Emma's corner. Oh no. There's <laughs> copyright issues with that. <laughs> um, it kind of didn't really go how I wanted it to go. We're not going to stop there, now, are we? I can't, Emma, I can't let you just, first okay. of all, disrespect my corner. Second of all, this is my home pitch. This is my home ground. Away team wins. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. I can't lie. A little bit rattled. <laughs> can't lie. Take a breath. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. And I don't <laughs> like that right side. I can't I can't hit the right. Just stick to what we know here. It's what we do here at Ultra. Change Football. the angle of the ball. What like this? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> But if you feel like it's like hard to get the angle of the kick come from here, then it's like, you know. Tips with Emma, which is why I'm going to hit it top bin. A little bit left, front on. Oh, <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> oh, no, it doesn't count. It doesn't that count. It doesn't count. <laughs> doesn't count. Target to target. <laughs> the, 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 the top corner challenge really brings out Everyone's little little bit of. I now understand why people like being a striker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I'm not happy. <laughs> now, no, I get, now I get two happy. in a row. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Cut the camera. Does that give me two in a row? <laughs> ah, no. Oh. oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever been rattled. We had Jyingham, George Mills, Mayor Markovsky, Kaya. Uh, we, we, we've had everyone, but uh, this is the most rattled I've been. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, safety lock. We're gonna put it, we're gonna put safety lock on. I want results. You want results, you just gotta do what you know best. Do you have a parking ticket outside like Maya Markovsky? Nice. I know who to give it to. <laughs> <laughs> oh! You told me to hurry up! Hang on, how many shots did it take? One. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, but also, safety lock was turned on there. Emma, <laughs> Emma knows what's at stake. I'm just trying to just get trying the to right to approach, you just know? Just caress it in there. Yeah. But I'm like guiding it now. Is it hot in here or is it just, just, I'm just sweaty? <laughs> <laughs> Not because we've been taking like 40 shots. <laughs> oh, cut. Don't stop. Stop. <laughs> stop the film. Now you know why I put myself right back last night, ho. What are you trying to say about defenders? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. There we have it. Oh no, that hurts. I'm that, so stoked. That, <laughs> that hurts a little bit. And Emma, game. thank you. Fantastic <laughs> stuff. And again, shock. I've lost one more time in the top bins <laughs> challenge. But Emma, thank you very much for coming down to Ultra Football today. It's been a pleasure. And thank you guys for watching another boot shopping here at Ultra Football. How did the new balance boots feel? How did they feel? I mean, clearly the results show that they work. How do they feel? No, they do. They do feel really good. It's like I said, I feel like I'm 
in a boot now that fits my foot and obviously it's working on the scoreboard. It shows maybe that's what I need. I need the New Balance to Keller boots to, to, help, <laughs> to help me actually win one challenge. So Emma, all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you again for joining us. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for watching. We'll make sure to see you guys soon. See ya. Thanks guys.